Hi, this is Cory, and here's another Navisworks training video. In this video, we're going to ta be talking about file management and how we append files into Navisworks. So let's begin. To append, we go up to our home ribbon and we can click directly on the button that says append. Or else we can use the keyboard shortcut. If we hover over it, we can see Control A. Uh, whenever you see these little drop down arrows, if you click on this arrow you have the additional option but if you just click on the button itself it will uh, execute that command so to find your so what you do is you find your file and we're going to be bringing this into our NWF so I'm going to open my training files and this is our basic training content so I'm going to import our structure I'm going to hit open and here we go, we can see our first model. We can see in our selection tree that we have structure.nwc. And the beautiful part about Navisworks is that you can bring in multiple files and multiple file types. In this particular instance, all of the models were created using uh, previous versions of Revit. So to import additional files or append additional models, I'm going to click up here on the append button and I can actually control click so I can click my first one and hold control and click on my second file so right now I have architecture and MEP selected and you know you can always toggle by just clicking on the file again so I'm gonna hit open and now we can see both of these models or all three of these models So I'd like to talk a little bit about just the different file types that are in Navisworks. And if you go to the Beck training manual, uh, this is currently listed as 2011. I'm sorry, I don't keep up real well with uh, these manuals. I try to do it more by video content and then just doing training and by word of mouth. But there's three main file types within Navisworks. And we often say that Navisworks can read all file types, and that's not totally accurate. What is more accurate is to say that Navisworks has written very good uh, file converters for many, many authoring tools. So what we what they do is create what's called an NWC file from that original authoring tool file. An authoring tool being AutoCAD, being Revit, being Tecla, being Rhino or SketchUp. All of these are different authoring tools. Navisworks is a viewer which we view the 3D geometry as well as the pertinent parameter information that gets passed to the NWC. So within the so in the NWCs are the individual files from the authoring tools. They get referenced into what's called an NWF. And the NWF is the the master file. But really all it does is contain links to the geometry. And when you're doing clash detection you are primarily going to be working in NWFs with these live links to files because each week you're going to get new updates from your subcontractors in your trades and they're going to be relinked into into your NWF and you can see how progress is is happening uh, verifying clash detection all of these things get packaged together then in, in an NWD and really it only should be wrapped around the NWCs and the NWF that you have all the associated viewpoints and information but you don't have you know the original Revit files and you'll see that as you export an NWC it's much smaller than the original say Revit file you might have a hundred megabyte Revit file that when you export the NWC might be down to just three to four megabytes because all it is is really paring down to just the geometry and the parameter information um, so, Navisworks references all of this based on a relative file structure. So, depending on where you have your NWF saved, it will look in one folder down for your pathing, and that can actually be set up in your options as well. I don't want to wear us out too much on these on this file management. I think I'll need to make another video to talk some more detail about how file your file structure and file management can uh, give you give you issues and do some troubleshooting. So thanks. Hope this was a helpful video.